Will we see you again as Shazam in James Gunn's new DC Universe? I hope so. Introducing the star of our show. His name is Shazam. If you could say Shazam in real life to be anyone else, real or fictional, who would you want to become and why? Keanu Reeves. <laughs> can we all become Keanu Reeves? I think Reeves? we can all be Keanu Reeves. We can all be. Yeah. He's That's kind of amazing. So gentle. He's somewhere. If we say Stop Shazam him. right yeah, now. Yeah, no. Oh, maybe right, he'll right. come. It'll to him. him. Okay, ready, steady, go. Yeah. Shazam! Shazam Reeves. <laughs> Where's Keanu? It didn't but... work. Susan Boyle. <laughs> She's got a beautiful voice and a great head of hair. And say the same person every time. That no, I, I said Bob Dylan last time. And for you, Ashlyn? Jim Carrey. Just seems like a really funny guy. Shazam would have would have to be it. I think it's hard to pass on to that. So I'm glad that I played the wizard that <laughs> possesses the uh, those powers be once before uh, once before, and then uh, that pass it on to this new champion. Uh, unfortunately happens to be a teenager. I would like to become future me. The, the thing about making movies is that you learn so much on each movie, and then it's like you can't wait to make another one because you learn so much. To me, I hope I get to continue to make many more movies so I can really learn the craft more. So I'd, I'd love to sort of skip ahead until I've made like 10 movies or something. I, I, I would just want to become a better me. Honestly, you know, what's another saying? Like, you know, be yourself, everyone else is taken. I don't know. I don't really think about being other people. I just want to be the best me I can be. Ein Zauberer hat mir Superkräfte verliehen. Shazam! Und dann haben alle Superkräfte bekommen. Wo wollt ihr denn hin? Verbrechen bekämpfen? Okay. Jetzt macht jeder irgendwie sein eigenes Ding. Ich bin der Einzige, der versucht, alles zusammenzuhalten. Ihnen ist schon klar, ich bin bloß Kinderarzt. Order. As far as I know, and compared to your colleagues, you're a self-proclaimed nerd, but you got some new colleagues now. So did you get any kind of competition on that title on filming the sequel? Oh, no, I was still the biggest nerd. I, <laughs> well, no, actually, you know what? Ross might be a bigger nerd than DJ also. I, DJ and Ross are both pretty big nerds. I'm not gonna lie. There, there, there's a lot of nerdery that goes on between the three of us. What appealed to you most about taking on a villain role in a comic book movie? And what did you enjoy most about it? I think that we all enjoyed being invited to be goddesses. Mm -hmm. And not villains. Yes, no, not we're villains. Not. We're yeah. right. Yes, we're right. Oh. And we're courageous and brave. And, yes, um, and pretty. And, and we're willing and to pretty. risk our <laughs> we're willing to risk our lives. We wear a crown. Helen will take anything that that requires a crown. Yeah. yeah. As a director, you've made a name for yourself primarily with horror movies. What kind of made you leave this genre for a superhero like Shazam? It, it was the studio that called and and asked if I was interested in making a Shazam, movie, which surprised me a lot because yeah, I've only done horror, but I do love all kinds of movies. You know, I don't just watch horror movies, and and, and I've always wanted to do big action and visual effects and, and this kind of superhero stuff as well. So I, I was very happy that they asked me. It's a movie that can have everything in it. You have comedy, you can even have a bit of horror and you have drama and action. So it's just like, you get to play with all the colors in the palette, you know? Die Töchter von Atlas sind hinter dir her. Kinder haben die Macht alle Götter gestohlen. Das ist sehr persönlich, Billy. We noticed that some comic fans are beginning to tire of the genre because of the flood of film adaptions. What do you think makes Shazam better than others? Well, I mean, certainly what makes it different, and I think therefore what makes it special, is that it's all about the wish fulfillment that we all feel when we're kids. All of us, at some point when we're a kid, dream about being a superhero. You know, a lot of young kids read comics because it kind of is, is this form of escapism, mm. and these are actual kids that become superheroes. It's yeah. still something that kids can watch and feel like they relate to because they too want to be able to say a word and become a superhero with powers. They're pretty emotional movies, especially this one. We do have a lot of heart in it. It's more than just, you know, visual effects and, and explosions and things like that. It, it balances the, the childlike quality mm. with the sort of adult quality as exactly. well. You know, buried underneath all of that, there's kind of quite serious themes if you want to dig into it. I definitely think that's what makes it special and unique and why people should see it. Will we see you again as Shazam in James Gunn's new 
new DC universe? I hope so. Yeah. I mean, listen, if everybody goes sees this movie, I think <laughs> Warner Brothers would want to make another one. So I feel like we could still tell. I think there's a lot of possibilities and I think there's a lot more growth and, and character development for Billy. And I guess we'll see what's in store uh, for the future, for his future. I'd like to fight zombies. I think superheroes <laughs> and zombies would be a lot of fun. Yes, gay on Kampf für deine Familie. Gay on Kampf für die Welt. Ich habe gerade einen Truck auf den Drachen geworfen. Ich liebe mein Leben. Let's get